Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Stefan. I am a, an SSI fellow from the 2018 Community Court. Thanks, for, thanks to Rachel for inviting me to speak about uh, an update here. And I took that chance to think about um, what the, I just need to find the right button to press, right? Sorry. Here we go. Um, what the fellowship, what, what kind of an impact the fellowship has, has had on my, my career and how it came about anyway. So um, take you back a couple of years, back in 2017, I worked as an RSE in linguistics. And uh, from that work, I kind of developed an interest in software sustainability and the way that metadata played a role in sustainability as well. Also, I thought, um, because I have a humanities background, this is not something that I can um, pursue at all because it's, you know, I, I would be an imposter. Um, I had some experience before applying um, because I did some early work to start the German RSE community. Um, I took part in a WISPI workshop in 2017. WISPI is the workshop for sustainable scientific software, a call on uh, practice and experiences. And that was such a great workshop that I uh, decided to chair the next one, and I did. Um, I'd also just started developing the back then very young citation file format, which I'm going to talk about in a bit. And I was trying to uh, kind of grow into the resource of a sustainability community and try and start a PhD because that was something I said would be necessary for me to uh, stay employed. So I was very naive, very excited, very enthusiastic. And I came up with this eclectic list of things I would want to do during my fellowship. And I actually had a look back on, uh, at, my, at my video. Um, and it was pretty bizarre, it looked pretty mad. So what I wanted to do is to export the SSI to other countries, such as Germany. Um, I wanted to provide a humanities perspective to the uh, SSI community. I wanted to push some basic research on software sustainability, for example, uh, to come up with a, with a good definition of what, of what resource software sustainability could, could actually be. Um, I wanted to organize a hack event around the citation file format and also work with other RSE associations, RSE's uh, Research Software Engineering. Um, at the conference in 2018, I wanted to help with the next WISPI workshop. So I had or can I help organize the WISPI 5.1 in Manchester the year before. And I also wanted to become a software carpentry instructor. <laughs> what that got me was um, the role of SSI special collaborator. Um, I got the funding that all other fellows got. Um, but because I wasn't UK-based, I couldn't be called an SSI fellow. So during the actual funding period, I actually got around to do some of the things I proposed I would do. Um, I'm not quite sure about the provision of a humanities perspective. By that time, I was kind of moving away from the humanities uh, in all but kind of the daily, daily software work. Um, but I did organize a hack event. There was a blog post on the SSI blog. I um, collaborated with Simon Hetrick and some others from the international RSE uh, community to run an RSE worldwide session at the RSE Con 18. I did help with Wispy, uh, served on the board uh, there, and also uh, managed to become a software carpentry instructor. Um, the interesting thing for me to see was that after the funding had stopped, but the funding period was over and the money was spent, um, the fellowship didn't actually stop obviously because it's a it's I think it's a it's a lifetime thing. Um, and I also realized that some of the goals I had when I originally applied, I managed to kind of pursue after the funding ran out. And that's because um, I found that the kind of having having the access to this to this uh, new community, um, which is very open, very welcoming, um, and also very it was not 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 hard to to speak to people, um, even coming kind of from the outside. Um, I started collaborations with a, a few folk from the SSI fellowship community and um, the wider community as well. And I managed to do some of the some of the other things as well that I set out to do. So collaborated with some people on creating an SSI like structure on the European level. We never got past the vision part, but there's a vision paper out there. Um, I wrote some papers actually on software sustainability, which was quite amazing. Um, kind of looking back, um, one on research software sustainability and citation, one about the uh, res sustainable research software environment in Germany and beyond. I managed to build a larger community around the citation file formats, file formats starting with um, that that hack event I ran, um, but also crucial to that was that I was able to 
tap into people's brains and ask, ask them, discuss with them about the role that the citation file format could have in the kind of wider landscape. Because at the same time, Code Meta was making an appearance on the stage as well. And I really had some issues kind of figuring out the place of CFF in the, in the wider community and the, and the way forward. Um, <clears throat> I went on to do some more work for internationalizing RSE, ran an international RSE leaders meeting and kind of co-founded the International RSE Council. Um, I did do some teaching um, at DLR with, through, through the software carpentry work, and I've managed to uh, start a PhD um, at the German Aerospace Center. And this all because I've, I had the, had the ability to you know, enter that community. Uh, I was made feel welcome. Um, also, I, it, it really helped being a part of that community kind of to boost my, my confidence. And I didn't actually see myself as an imposter anymore. Um, and kind of since this year, I also have officially the role of SSI fellow, so that's a great thing. Um, I was thinking a bit about the overall impact the fellowship has had, and generally, um, like I said, the new collaborations that came just from being among the fellows um, and building building a network were very helpful. Um, I kind of practically for the citation file format, I found um, a co-lead, Julian Spax from the Netherlands Sea Science Center. And that's a great achievement because that meant I didn't have to do anything, every, everything by myself. And there's actually kind of some, some funding coming up as well, um, stemming from that cooperation. Um, I got my, my job, my current job um, through the SSI fellowship. So I uh, was kind of first, first steps of recruiting me to the German Aerospace Center happened to a collaborative during a couple of collaborations workshop dinner. Um, and I'm actually now doing, trying to do a PhD thesis on software sustainability. And one of the most important things that are actually non-tangible, I found my tribe through the fellowship. And also, like I said, it's, it's, it helped me kind of boost my confidence. And I can now, I now feel much better about kind of moving, moving in, this, in, the, in these circles and uh, working on this topic. Um, some more obvious impact that the fellowship has had through the work that I could do together with the community um, during the fellowship was the, the citation file format and kind of the continued development of, of that and me not giving up on the, on the project early on. Um, and Arfan Smith recently just said that um, it seems that 1.2 million people have displayed the citation information on GitHub um, that was kind of fed from the citation file format files there. There are around 12,000 files there at the moment. So I think this is something that's really that I'm really proud of, and I, I think uh, wouldn't have happened uh, if it wasn't for the fellowship. Um, and I think that's it. I can talk a lot more about the citation file format if you're interested in that. I'm going to give you an update of what's happening there, um, if you like. But yeah, thanks for listening. And thanks.